welcome to the channel. I'm glad that you could make it. It is another beautiful day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and I am glad that you could join me. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. So, the blossoms are pink and blossoming on the almond tree. So, do you know what that means? It means it is time for us to take a look at the case mower deck that we picked up and see if we can actually get it to mow. So let's go do that. All right, so we're back. We got this back. I got it up on some cement blocks, but we can kind of see a, it over a lot better. So in the last video, I was actually reading off the uh, serial number of it. The model this is, because I told you it was like 4240, this is actually a J, 46. It's really hard to tell even it's just stamped in there and so that means that this is a 48 inch deck. So if we look it over a little bit better they roll. That one rolls just fine. It's not in bad shape. Um, it's got a little dinger here. Somebody ran it into something. Um, but the thing that concerns me is it, I mean, it, it turns, but it doesn't, well, maybe it's okay. I don't know. So let's do a complete maintenance on this thing and get it put on the tractor and just see how it mows. Um, and then also I'll show you why I say that J46 is a 48 inch deck because I actually have collected a lot of stuff. Well, let me get you into the barn or the workbench let me get you to the workbench and i'll show you what i'm talking about okay so since getting the case i have been collecting all the literature i can find on it just from anywhere anytime i see anything case so i've got all kinds of manuals but this is something i picked up not that long ago and it is the Rotary motor, mower, J40, J44, and J46 operator manual number 9-50551. I'm sure some people really don't care. Okay, so in here, and I don't know if I'm allowed to show this. Maybe it's copywritten. But according to this, what we need to do is lubricate those wheels, the axles for those little wheels. It says to... Uh, lubricate the deck bushings every 10 hours of mowing. So we'll probably want to uh, lube those up. It says, or you can use motor oil every four hours and put the deck on an angle and squirt it. So it looks like there's a pulley in here. Yeah, some good stuff. So I figure what we'll do is I picked up a new belt for it and we'll lube up those wheels and then I don't see how any of the bearings are serviceable, but we'll take that cover off and just see if anything is serviceable. Um, and then in here it says that the J46 is a 48 inch deck. The J44 is a 44 inch deck. And the J40 is a 38 inch deck. Also, because of these pictures, I believe, because that lift pivot forward or the mounting bracket for the mower deck, we have the longer ones. So that means that it went on, it came off of a J442 uh, or a 444. The little brackets. I guess they're for the 210, the 220, the 222, the 224, the 644, and the 646. I hope that might have helped some people, but we have the longer ones, so that's good because we have a 444. So let's take that cover off of it and just see maybe why it's not moving so good. I, maybe, maybe we can lube it. I don't know. Let's take that apart and find out. All right, so here's what I was talking about, about having the longer so the short ones would be like, you know, there where my thumb is. So this definitely came off of a 442 or a 444. Um, yeah, and all these, I mean, I might be able to get some lube in there, but they really, they don't feel that bad. I don't know. And what we need to do here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight looks like eight bolts need to come out that plate and then we can take a look in there and just see i mean maybe it's or maybe that belt's just i, I don't know we'll, we'll take that cover off and we'll just see what we're dealing with underneath it <laughs> All right, it's pretty gross in here, but according to the manual, 9 16 wrench on this nut, and you go, ka -cha. the end. That was easy. <laughs> they need to make things like this just nowadays. They really need to. All right, let's get that belt. So this belt, really isn't that bad i mean it's a little bit cracked and it's worn but it, it's yeah it, i mean it's not that bad i would i would probably have no problems running it a little bit but i picked up the right size belt so we have that we might as well do it um this feels fine i don't see anywhere where you can you know grease these bearings but so this one feels fine this one feels fine this one is a little bit it's kind of hard it's it's so i think what we need to do i mean it may be i don't know i i mean yeah it, it feels tight so maybe we need to flip the deck over take a look at the blades and take a look at, you know, because that feels fine. So see if there's some way that we can't maybe lubricate them up um, without taking the whole thing apart. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Let, so let's flip it over and take a look at the bottom side. All right. So this isn't dangerous at all, but <laughs> um, the blades look fine. I don't see any chunks missing out of them. Everything looks, I mean, they look good. I, I would probably mow with it without a problem um rollers are all fine i mean they look clean i, I just it doesn't yeah so this one moves nice this one moves nice this one it, it doesn't grind it just i don't know it, it feels a little tight but i noticed It's kind of maybe hard for you to tell because it's kind of in the shadow, but there is rust here, not here, not there, not here. So it almost looks like maybe how they had the tarp over it. It didn't, some water pooled up here or something because this is kind of rusty. So there's no way that I can see to lube these up. And I mean, that's like original paint, right? I, I think they're original bearings probably in this thing. So what I'm going to do is try and just get some lube in there. And it could just be that that nut's tighter. I, I, or I don't know. So I'm going to try and get some lube in there. And then let's clean up this grease. Throw the belt on because I don't have bearings for this. I will have to order those. But let's see if at least we can kind of free it up a little bit. Clean up this grease. Put the new belt on. And then put it on the tractor and lube up of course these wheels that case recommended us and uh, get it on the tractor and see if it'll mow I mean see if we can even if it'll even fit our 444 because who knows this could be a different I, I don't know so let's do that let me get some lube in these and clean up this grease and uh, see if it'll fit all right so I lubed them all up nice nice and nice and there was a bunch of like let's see if i can find it like vines and grass and stuff all wrapped up in here so should i remove all the caps pull them out and grease the bearings all up yes i should do that am i gonna do that well not right now because i want to make sure that this thing actually will fit on the tractor first before i start really messing with it so let me clean up this grease on here put the belt on 
put the cover back on and then let's see if we can't get it onto the tractor. So we'll get the tractor over here and see if we can't mount it up there. And it came with a belt, this one. And so I'm gonna assume that that's that one. It looks like it's the right size. So that's the one that gets driven off of the PTO of the engine of the tractor. So let me get this grease cleaned up and then let's just see if we can't fit it on or if there's anything we need to fabricate to make it work onto our case. Well, it's not perfect by any means, but these are spots where, I, I don't know, it's like through the paint. So maybe we'll leave a little grease on the paint just to protect it. But other than that, everything feels great. So let's throw the uh, belt on there and see what we have. It's all back together, uh, lubed up. It's not perfect, whatever, but uh, we can, I really wanna see if this thing fits. That's that's what's fun to me. So let's get the, the tractor over here and see if we can't get all this to fit on it. And then once it's fit and we can see if it works, then we can worry about maybe, you know, pulling the whole deck apart and doing everything the correct way or we'll just use it. I, I don't know yet, but anyways, let's get the tractor over. So here's my thoughts. Tire chains probably need to come off before we put the deck on. Also, that uh, steering link is bent. And I'm pretty sure you can see it's, it's pushed out. That will probably hit because the mower lift deal needs to push up there. So let's get the tire chains off of it, which won't be too hard because just a hook there and then a hook on the other side and we can drape them off and then let's go see if we can't straighten out this steering link yeah you can see how it's bowed out there let's see if we can't straighten that out unless we have to go buy a new one but let's first go see if we can't just straighten it out
spare chains off. Check. Tie rod link straightened pretty good. It's already painted, so it's good enough. If not, I know how to straighten it out, right? And I already manhandled the mower deck underneath it. So, I was looking at this. Looks like the pins go here and here. So, here and uh, maybe there. Those things right there. And I'm sure there's probably some of you watching it like, yeah, it just goes on like this and these, duh, but I, I don't know. So, here, here. So, I was kind of looking and it looks like this is the lift point on each side and then i would imagine this connects to the deck and maybe that one on each side connects to the deck so these this doesn't have anything in it but luckily a lot of them do have them in it so we might have to figure out something to use for that but i was kind of looking and I'm gonna guess, kind of lining this up, probably goes here because that lifts and lowers with the hydraulics. So it probably goes in one of those three and then I'm like, okay, so that's where the lift bar goes there. So on this side, we go around here and I see there are three also. They're pretty crusty, but there are bolts in there. So I think <laughs> I might have to, I don't know, take the bolts out. It's weird, this has two nuts on there and then so maybe we'll shoot for the middle one on that side and i don't, I don't know it's two on it I don't, I don't know middle one and middle one or maybe we need to go front and front um but what i'll do is let's slide the thing on and maybe i shouldn't have the more deck in here i i just figured it might be easier just to kind of set it on top and get everything lined up and uh either take uh, they're three quarter they look like a three quarter inch so I'll go loosen these things up and see if we can't figure out where they want to fit on. So let me get that slid in here and we'll just, we'll take a look. All right, it fit. Man, does that painted tie rod link make everything else look so grungy. I probably have to paint this whole thing. But anyways, so that went together and I chose the middle one because middle road, I don't know, that one probably makes it lift higher and that one makes it lift lower. I I don't know, but I went with the middle one. So, come over here, and it looks like I have to go on the inside, but I think I'm going to choose the middle one. Uh, you win. So, I don't, I think it goes on the, in, it kind of looks like everything's fitting on the inside of this plate, but that's going to be close to, well, let's, let me take these off and, you know, try and get it on there and let's just see how it fits. It's on. So, chose those and then, yeah, it kind of has mixed match hardware. There's some like cotter pins in some places and those are probably like some kind of factory pin there. And it's got like another cotter pin deal there and the same thing with the other side, but... They had these washers on here. I, I, don't, I don't know. Anyways, everything lined up. So that means that this definitely came off of either a 442 or a 444. Four fingers. Um, belt is on. I had to fish it ugh, around the 50-year-old fan or 45-year-old fan that's plastic, so I was careful with that. But it ended up here on the clutch, goes down, goes through here, and then comes down. And it's pretty neat because this is how you adjust it, just by turning this. So I don't see any like lock nuts or anything on here, so I guess it's just snug and you know, the belt feels fine and it's in all the rollers and everything. So I ended up also using this one and I don't have a pin. That doesn't mean we can't make a pin for it, 
but I just loosened it up enough. So, and then I just jam nutted it. I, I don't know. It was already like that. So maybe it, I don't know. I, I don't know. This, they had it like that. I don't, I don't know if a Mordex ever been on this thing, but anyways, it is now. <laughs> and it's good enough for, to try because we still need to probably look into bearings. I, I don't know, but I think what's left to do now is fire it up, make sure that the clutch system works and see if it'll mow. I, I mean, see if it'll work because I really wanted to make sure it fits and it fits. So I'm super happy with that. And it's a little different color. That's a little more sun faded than, you know, this tractor is, but, but Hey, we can paint it, whatever. It, it's, it's cool. Um, so let's see if we can't get this thing to mow and just see if it works or if it blows up horribly in our face. Well, there you have it. It mows, I mean, great. We don't really have, it's still winter, right? There's there's not really any grass, but it, it definitely, you know, mowed it. You can see the difference. So, I mean, it's great. This thing, it works great. So I would really like to probably take those bearings all apart and grease them up. Uh, the plan was I was gonna use this to mow for the year. But, uh, well, we got that John Deere. So I guess the next video, we're going to have to get that John Deere going and mowing and see which one works better because parts for these might be a little hard to get. Parts for the John Deere probably are more expensive, but they'll probably be easier to get. I don't know. So, and who knows, maybe the John Deere won't even mow. So yeah, till next time, you know, thanks for watching. We got a great working mower here. So I'm I'm super happy. I'm super stoked. It doesn't even, yeah, it, it works great. So uh, till next time, be blessed. Peace. Mode, not mode. Mode, not mode. Peace.